And I think it's important, especially at the high school level, that the teachers are using it because when the students go to college, they don't do anything via paper to the, to the teachers. Everything is sent electronically, papers come back electronically, notes. Uh, you know, I've got two children, my daughter's going off to college. We have gotten one letter from the college. Everything is electronic. Uh, my son has, all his papers in college have been submitted electronically, and it, it's not a paper world right. for them out there. Right. So, yeah. I mean, we're not doing a, we're doing a disservice to our students if we expect them to still be doing paper transmission back and forth. I might even suggest that um, should we be moving towards more um, solid direction through a policy, perhaps the, the uh, process committees for BCTA could start some discussions later in the fall or yeah, winter, because I know idea. I was on that committee last year, I don't think we've met once, but no. um, using it as a way to get some f discussion between the board and, and teachers and faculty members who were on that committee, just um, what, what works best, what's working, what's not working, um, and you know, how, should, what should be the role of the board and policy, because that's what we do, set policy and budget, uh, in that, that whole adoption process. That might be a good discussion topic down the road for mm -hmm. that committee. Thank you. Uh, next is uh, any other uh, visitors on any non-agenda item? Uh, future meetings. Um, actually, at this point, I think we probably should mention how we, I mentioned at the beginning of the meeting, uh, one of the minutes was dealt with a board retreat we had. Uh, and the board <coughs> had some discussions on how we can better engage or become more engaged with the community. And one of the outcomes of that meeting was that on the second meeting of each month, we'll actually not be meeting here, but we'll be meeting at a different school location throughout the district, and we'll establish that schedule, uh, starting with the elementaries and, and uh, the middle school. Uh, anyone want to add anything to that? Just to add about, like, uh, during budget season, however, the second meetings will be taken up by budget, so we won't be traveling during that time, but definitely for the next five months, starting in September and April and May, the second meetings will be out at uh, one of our schools uh, so the next future meetings is September 3rd uh, 6 p.m. with the executive session of uh, public meeting starting at 7 p.m. and then Wednesday September 17th uh, 6 p.m. with executive session or executive session and then uh, public meeting starting at 7 and then after that is Wednesday October 1st again 6 p.m. executive session with the regular board meeting beginning at 7 p.m. There is no need for us to go into executive session. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Second. First and second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. That's good. We are adjourned. Thank you. Board members, I need you to sign both yes. of the text uh, oh. documents for.